Today is October 11th and we are drawing or painting a city scene. Um, I just added a couple more photos so if you want to go on to the Padlet if you're a patron then you can find that. Let me just see why I cannot see myself on here. Hmm. Home latest live. Ah, here we go. There we go. How is everybody today? I think there is one person watching, <coughs> but that could be actually me watching me. <laughs> today, um, I just added, good morning, C. I'm so glad that you have found us here. We are about to paint a city scene and I think I'm going to do it upside down even though it's not upside down day but <clears throat> my brain kind of needs that break um I just added a picture and I really love it so I'm going to do this one it's actually of a snowy street scene it could actually be um well I mean it could be anywhere but I am feeling that it's definitely somewhere in uh, the Northern Hemisphere. Hi, Janan, how are you? Good morning, Meryl, how are you? I wish it was sunny here. It's not a very sunny day. Okay, I'm going to put my, it's on lock screen. I'm gonna put it on do not disturb. And I'm gonna plug in my device so that it doesn't run out of battery. Um, because I just saw that I had not plugged it in last night, so I am going to, actually I'm going to have to do this, but I'll show you the image that I'm working from. It is this image, and I got it from Unsplash, and I'm just going to turn it around. And start painting. What is everybody working on today? I thought just a, a city scene with a little bit of snow in would be kind of appropriate as it's gotten very cold. Um, if you are drawing with us, remember to use the hashtag ShahzakLast1023. This way I can see your images. Um, I haven't been seeing many, but it could be because you've been busy doing other things, maybe. And... Let's go to a page to get some painting done. All right, I am turning my book around so that it's the right way round. And I'm going to start, I think I'll start with getting the really bright, bright areas. Um, I may even have to go white in those areas. Um, or maybe I can mix up a yellow. Um, and just trying to keep it quite loose. Maybe we can do two. Maybe if I put a timer on, we may get a couple done. Are you all drawing or painting with us this morning? Give us a thumbs up if you're painting. And, and I think I'm going to mix, uh, use a mix of um, gouache and acrylic inks. The acrylic inks are going to give me that... Um, base. I do have white. Um, I have white acrylic as well near me and I found my palette, my messy palette, so that's good. Look at how messy my colors are. All right, I'm going to just look where all the brights are and the lights are. Maybe I'll use this white, which isn't too white anymore and just put on my page where the lighter areas are. I could actually mix a little bit of a blue in with this. Let's do that. Janan says, I will be soon. Janan is painting. Meryl, are you painting? C, are you painting? Okay, let's get some running out of white here. 
I think I need to take a trip to Michael's to get some more. Okay, so the white, there really isn't any white white on this image. Like there's a lot of blue. If we go by, for example, the bar up here that's white, there's really not too much white. Um, my image here is a little bit more, um, how should I say, it's a little longer in composition. If I pull this down to here, actually, it's pretty similar. So I'm going to use that as my guide. And I find that a lot easier to use. So if you're looking at where everything is, um, it's nice to have something like that. So I'm going to start down here and just block in anything that has this light bluey white hue and try and get some some composition put in. I'm going straight in with paint because, you know, we may as well. I know it's not all light, but I know that if I don't put it in light, light like this, then I'll probably... Um, regret it when I start putting other colors in. So I can always go over this with another color. Actually, I can probably put this whole awning in and then go over with the other colors. There's a traffic light that is also cutting right through this awning. C says, watching today so far, a bit under the weather, I suspect a flu shot did it. Ah, oh, yes, probably. I can hardly raise my arm and have the aches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Hi, Meryl. Yes, Meryl is painting. Louise says, good morning, not painting, just finished my lunch and having a coffee. Well, that sounds lovely and relaxing. <laughs> Okay, there is a, the little walking man is definitely nice and bright. So I'm glad I left this and or did it all the way across. Um, we have a little walking man over here as well. I'm just painting what I see shapes. Um, you know, anything that has this kind of color to it that I don't have to come back again and do more of this color. Uh, but these are definitely a little bit darker. Some of these up here, I'm just trying to see where things are. Uh, like, for example, windows. I 
lot of these night scenes require you to use your negative space skills. I don't know if they really are skills, but they're definitely an exercise that we have all used before. So, you know, working with negative space is really beneficial to seeing things in your work. can always correct and go over with a darker color but it'll be diff difficult to bring in a lighter color well it's nice just to get the brights in because um, those really determine that nighttime feel of the artificial lights I think anyway okay so I'm up here and then I have a space Another window. Janan is Sila enjoying her her um, program that she's in. All right, got that. Looking down here, you know that actually it's a little bit brighter, the blue. So I'm gonna just put it in with this one. And then I want a little bit more of a gray color. So actually I'm going to add a little bit of magenta. If you're just uh, joining, I'm working upside down because my brain couldn't think to work right side up, so I'm working upside down. I am working with FW inks um, for now. I want to probably bring in Neo colors as well. This is a darker blue, but I think I can use this for for uh, some of the... Actually, I need a little bit of yellow. Scott says, good morning, just watching, as also not feeling well. Oh, no. Did you get a flu shot, too? I don't think you did flu shots. Okay, a little bit of green... to dull those colors a little bit. Um, let's put a few of these greener colors down here. And I can actually mix a little bit of this blue for this window down here. Because it's not... Well, it's bright, but it's not... Um, more in the green tones. And then here as well. Nick says, hello friends, just popping in for a quick watch as I need to go to bed. We're waiting for those clocks to go back. I don't know when they go back. Anyone in the U.S. know when they go back? This way, at least, Nick, the time difference will be a little bit better. I 
think I can probably just cover these windows here. I know that there's snow, but I think I can cover them and then come back to them. Like Alexandra said yesterday, oh, yesterday was really like a big play on, on um, complementary colors, which it was true. Like I didn't really even think about it, how, how obvious those two colors, the warm and the cool colors together were. It was interesting. This is all pretty dark down here. The FW inks dry really quickly, so you have to work with them. I'm going to dull certain areas. Oh, C says, I wish for no time change. And Sarah says, November 5th. Okay, November 5th. Well, we have a little bit of time still until that happens then. Um, if you're joining, I am working upside down. You probably realize that already anyway. And I am seeing that I have a lot of brights. I need to dull them slightly. Um, I'm working with acrylic inks, but I'm thinking I could probably work with gouache and get a very similar effect on this. The snow has kind of a pink hue to it, so I'm going to come back and put a little bit more pink on it. All these windows, they can, they could be a little bit overwhelming. I'm just, um, I'm just plodding along, seeing what I can do with them. Um, also trying to figure out where my spacing is, etc. Because I think I am a little off with the with the um, proportions or where things are. So we'll see. I'm just going to keep working like this. <laughs> Louise says, do you clean your palette when you're using inks or does it peel off? No, it doesn't peel off. It's very like um, acrylics, but because they're thin layers, um, this palette is getting heavy. Um, no, so I just leave them to dry because they dry and they don't... Um, they don't reactivate, so I figure I may as well just leave them. I'm really bad at cleaning palettes, brushes. I mean, brushes, I clean them. I don't leave them in the water. That's one thing I 
do do because I know that or I don't do because I know that that hurts your brush um, it also starts um, eating away at the wood if they're wooden so it's best to you know make sure that you just clean them and take them out so that's I do do that this is the wrong color I'm gonna change that in a minute when I have a color in my hand, I really am just focused on um, where that color is on the page, if I can add it in some place, then I will put it on. There's a big light post, or no, it's not a light post, it's a, um, what do you call it? That's there. I'm going to have to put this right here. Um, traffic light. And I can use this color for the post. Keep it nice and. Ah, I got too, too wide up here. Um, oh, and I took that away. Let's make that a little bit brighter. So there's a walking man right here, which I wanted to keep nice and bright. So there's this building, which is right here. I've got an awning here really the building is going to come up here and then I have another little light area here the sign we have the sign here and then the bar of the sign and then we have some writing which I'm going to do right at the end on the writing right there I feel like I'm being really careful in particular with this. Okay, and I'm getting mixed up. So I've got this, these windows here. I've got a bright light there. I have, oh, I didn't put these in, so I can put these in. I'll bring them down slightly. Then we have the bright yellow. So I think I'm ready to move on to yellow. My white has a bit of green in it. Or a bit of blue in it, sorry. Let's see. Okay. Let's get some yellow on here. It dries pretty quickly as well, like this. Oh, that was way too far down. And then we have the cafe sign, which I'm not going to put the yellow on right now, but it is right here and there's a window Here. and then also a window over here the sign may go over the top that's fine and we have a light right here which I need to put white in the middle and another traffic light over here that's the walking man here's the awning and the traffic light should go approximately here. Um, 
ink for Inktober, yes. Oh, it's kind of acrylic ink, so it's not really ink ink. Uh, Louise says, I'm so bad with my palettes and brushes. Nick says, well, cleaning up after acrylic ink is a pain and stops me from using it, so maybe I should try your way. Yeah, I just I just use a very like simple palette and it dries. I don't put too much acrylic ink on here. I know that some people say you should you you should have enough in your palette to just use all the time, but I figure that these are kind of my palettes, so I just dip into these when I need them, but I put them on here for mixing. Because I know that Missy Dunaway she mixes actually on her on her page like directly and I think that would be fine if it was a a little bigger of a um painting like if it was you know a little bit more free but no so I'm just doing it this way so I'm looking where all the yellow is now yellow areas in my picture. I think I need a little bit of a whiter area as well. So I'm gonna dip in. I definitely need to get a white. Some lighter areas. I should put that red in so I can start putting the yellow on top. I don't know. I guess I can wait a little bit. Okay, there is a bright light over here. Actually, these could be a little bit duller. I'll just get them bright and then I'll come back in and give them a bit more of a Do like the bright lights though. Let me add a tiny little bit of red. I feel like the yellow is a little bit is a little bit crazy for up here in the windows. I'm sorry, that was magenta that I added. Just need to mute these a little bit. And then also I want to try and keep, I know I can go over with black, but if I can try and keep the black areas of the window, I think that would help me. And I wouldn't have to come back and do that. I really kind of want to turn it around so that I can see how it's going, but I'm going to resist. And I thought that I could do maybe two of these. That's not going to happen. I know I can see that. Oh, this should have been higher. Hang on. Let's move that up a little bit. the window. I definitely overestimated the size of this window because this was supposed to be a window as well. We'll see once I've like, once I, I may just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, where else can I put this color? And here I've got it. Oh, up here in these windows. Oh, 
actually this isn't in line with this so I don't know what happened I'm going to move it over slightly and then correct it correct it with black I'm going to have to do that because this is the side of the building. Let's get the red so that I can get some red in. And I've also seen now that this, well, actually in the picture, there is a little slight, um, what do you call it? Lean. There's a slight lean, so let's see. I may have to do a couple of layers of this. Uh, you know, if you're working with acrylic, inks they layer really well and they will dry and then you can go over them and layer a little bit more so if the first coat seems a little bit transparent just wait and try and put another coat over the top okay so then i have this here building and the whole wall of the building here going up it gets darker up here but I can at least get the outline of it here This window I can take over here a little bit more. I think I'm in the wrong spot. is going to be a little bit brighter down here then I can correct this this window here because I think I've gone way too high probably should be around this size which means my my actual I'm going to just put the inside area a little bit more solid and then I can go over with a black I didn't put There's a garbage can here as well. <laughs> Nick says this feels like a logic puzzle. It yeah, it was supposed to be a little bit of um, a freeing, a freeing situation. But right now I'm feeling like it's a little bit of like a, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Definitely not very freeing. And yeah, I'm just, um, I'm not, it's not like I'm struggling. I am enjoying the whole process. But it's definitely not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more. Ah, just put a bit of color here. Just put a bit of color there. And just, you know. Yeah. But it's a little. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit more complex. Or I'm making it a little bit more complex than it actually should be. And I have my blue open. Let's open my blue. And I was going to make, I was going to use a few different colors and I haven't done, or a few different materials. I was going to use gouache initially and I haven't done that. Okay. 
this. The snow needs to be darker, but it still needs a warm hue. So I am changing that a little bit. And also over here. Like I don't want black on the street. Like it doesn't have to be black. So I'm just lightening up. I think I should just do this. And also over here, and then I can always put in a little bit more light on top. So I feel like there's a fine line between, um, I, I don't want to lose the black that I've got on here. I know I need to correct a few places, um, but I want the black to be dark and then I want everything else to be light and bright. So... Nick says, but I, it looks good. It looks great. And I'm intrigued. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess we will see how, how it plays out. Snowy scenes are funny as well, because there's a lot of reflection of blue light um, as well as all the lights on the snow. So it's not just, well, I guess you get that also with a road scene, like anything which has a road. Um, but it's interesting because you do get your, you get your reflections on the snow as well. So there's, you know, you have to think of that, like right down here, I see blue on the snow as well. And I see that pink behind it. And I feel like this needs to be definitely a little bit um, bluer. I'm like digging at my, digging, digging at my white. Let's see, I'm going to clean this up slightly. Yeah, I feel like it needs to be a touch bluer. And I see, I don't know if you guys see, are you doing the same one? Is anybody doing the same one? I see like an edge to certain places as well, like certain areas. So here I haven't touched and I should have. We got purple going on as well, um, which I think I can use for this box here. And also along the edge here. And to be a little bit warmer. There's snow in here as well, so I'm thinking I get everything done and then I go with the snow. So I'm gonna just correct. I've got to, I'm gonna take a little bit of red and mix up. Actually, maybe I don't even need black. Well, maybe not. I think red and blue is probably a better option. Okay. 
Okay, so we have one bar here, and then I'm going to move this down a little bit, and one bar up here, and this is going to be covered. So I'm still going to be a little bit light on the building here. this light a little brighter. I think I still have to mix in a little bit of yellow with the red. No, it gets a little bit browny. Maybe I should have put white down first and then the red just to make it bright. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Do I have any other thing? I need red here and red over here. darken those areas a little bit um yeah which picture are you drawing i know that um who is it meryl meryl you are painting as well this morning oh, i didn't put that image in that bit meryl you're painting and anyone else painting i think everybody was either having breakfast or not feeling too well this morning. Oh, I can go darker here. Darker on the side of the light post. This light post, it really um is more of a brown than let's get that in other than when it comes up here and this is in the wrong spot a lot of red behind here. I guess the building is being lit up by the snow. Or rather, the building is being lit up by the light and then the snow is also lighting it up a little bit. So I'm going to get that in. A little bit of warmth to the side of this building. Shadows. Whoops. Oh, I'm really needing to turn it around. Um, Louise says, I'm looking on the Padlet to see which image I do. I like the one with the umbrellas. Yeah, I like the one with the umbrellas as well. It was either that one or this one or, I mean, there was a few, so... I just ended up doing this one because I thought, hmm, kind of like the cafe sign, which I have to also remember to do. And we have 15 minutes left. Need to get some, just clean up the windows a little bit. I'm going to do that in a minute. Let's see if I can pull up some white. It's really not white anymore. I think what I'll have to do is clean up, clean up all the windows, etc. And then, um, okay, so we have the three windows here. We need also 
there. And then I'll put snow on. Completely missed drawing a window here on the side. Missing anywhere, anybody? I think I'm. I'm gonna get the cafe on here. If even if I just outline a little bit of the here, let's see if I can write upside down as well. just doesn't get nice and bright. I think, you know what, like if I have a, a Posca, the Posca will probably do the job when it comes to something like this. And Poscas and, um, Poscas and acrylic inks work really well together. So yeah, that may be an option. All right, black. I'm just going to go in with my black in certain areas that I need to go into, for example, the windows. I'm just going to clean them up and then afterwards I'll put snow on. Try and keep them. All the same. Whoops. Oh, these guys, I made it a little bit small here. Okay, well this one, you know, this isn't in line. I gotta try and get this in line just so that it makes sense. This one is way off. That's the one I had to correct. I guess this is what happens when you um, when you don't draw it out first and it's all freehand. This is off. And this isn't acrylic ink or anything, this is just ink. So you can see how it's resisting a little bit on my on my acrylic because it is um, it doesn't have the same base. This is just India ink that I'm using. this a little bit. Yeah, I think I definitely need to pull out the Poscas.
Yeah, this actually goes down past here. I didn't realise that. Oops. So the building comes down here like this. Mm. And this is all wrong, so I'm just going to scrub that. These are also wrong. This one not so much, but the one next to it was. Got some poles, which I don't actually know what they are, but I'm going to put them in. It just brings a little bit more interest, I guess, to the whole. To the whole piece. So I can mix a little bit of blue in with it. I really want to turn it upside down or right side up rather. Okay, I need to put the snow on for sure, so I'm going to get that on and then I will turn it. <clears throat> Alright, let's get a paintbrush that would be good for snow. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of a test. And it's funny because there are different color snows. There is snow which is bright around here and then there's snow over here which is much duller. So I got to make sure that I'm not um, putting on. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere. Let's have a look. Is it dry? It's almost dry. Thank you for liking my video. Anybody who has pressed like, that's really nice of you. This isn't dark. Of course, my red is. I can hear that I have ink or acrylic in it. I can hear it. Hmm. Oh, I know what I could use. I know, I know, I know, I know. Acrylic. Acrylic wash, always a lifesaver. A little bit better. See, I, sh I think I should have done the whole sign in white first. That's what I should have done. I will learn by the end of the month that that's what I have to do. If I need a really bright area, it needs to be basically bright, 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 bright. And then I also need, do I have a fluorescent yellow? Oh, I can have a fluorescent yellow. Oh yeah, I do. Oh no, that's leaf green. Well, I guess it got painted over. Oh, do I have fluorescent? I do have fluorescent. A luminous yellow. It's so sad our art store is not around anymore because that's where I got my acrylic. Acrylic wash. And I would just go in, pop in, even if I got one, it was nice just to have, yeah. It's 
not really glowing. I think I need white as well with it. I can put that. This one here, but I don't have. I literally, it's like at the end. The end, the end, the end. Brush is really gloopy. Well, because I don't want to put water on it, because if not, it will be, um, it'll just be really runny. Okay, I'm gonna get the snow on. Actually, I can probably use this. Oops, yeah. which I haven't. Get all the scoop off my brush. Way too wet. Let's do a little bit of a test. Okay, I need, I have, Oh, I have this. I'll do a test on here. I need it smaller and it's going on my iPad as well. So I'm going to move my iPad over a little bit. I need it smaller, which I think I just need to... Yeah. Less paint on, on there. How are we doing for time? Oh my goodness, I've got two minutes. Two minutes, come on. Kind of don't want to do this, but I've got to, I think, just give it a little bit more glow. a lot of snow. Ah. I gotta commit. I can't just have some big ones and not others. So it's just snowing really, really a lot right now. Okay. I want to give a little bit of gray to this, to these up here. I can go a little bit darker actually. <laughs> it looks like I'm making a lot of effort, but it's because I don't want this happening everywhere. to clean my work surfaces all right I'm gonna turn it over like there's a little bit of snow snow on the ground is awesome okay I'm turning it around <sighs> well I like it I think it um, definitely captured a little bit I've got my a little bit there are a few little mistakes that I know that I could probably correct if I wanted to. Um, but I like it. I think it definitely, um, I could put that finale up here as well if I wanted to. This way I could tag them. Um, little things that I haven't done, for example, are, I don't know if I should do them now, but um, for example, 
the little water man I could put a little box oops a couple of water a little box around the water man and make the water man a little bit brighter here and then maybe on top of this a little bit Red. Yeah, so little, little, little things that I could probably, but I like, the, I like the snow. I think I probably was a little heavy handed. Let's put the finale as well. Should have done that in the in the center. Correcting that. I'll do that afterwards. I don't want to rush that. I'll do it afterwards. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. That was fun. A little bit too intense for me not wanting to have it intense, but it became intense. Anyway. Have a really good day, everybody. And if you are with the virtual art retreat, I will see you at 10. If you can't make it live, don't worry, you'll get the recording. Um, we're in Scotland and we're, we're drawing bagpipers today and doing some really lovely portraits. Bye, everybody. Bye.